How to avoid getting sick. Do you have a propensity for occasionally becoming sick? Are you unable to fend off the seasonal flu and colds? Being ill frequently may be upsetting, unpleasant, and frustrating. Burnt out and more significant health issues from getting sick frequently leads to missing out on daily activities and using large amounts of medication. This turmoil is also a result of COVID 19. As more and more individuals report being unwell more frequently and for a longer amount of time, it is crucial to understand the root reasons of recurrent illness and take appropriate action to address them. There are several factors that you need to keep in mind to avoid getting sick. But before we get down to the deets of all of them, subscribe to our channel so that you can always keep in touch with information on the subjects you are inquisitive about and join the deets family. Now, let's tackle the sickness together. Number one, manage your distance. It's best for all parties to manage the distance, be it that you are unwell or someone else you know. Usually, it starts with one person scumbing to the flu, and then before you know it, everyone in the group or at home has been sick for weeks. Limiting contact with sick people can help you prevent the spread of disease. Limiting close or in person encounters is the greatest method to prevent this uncomfortable scenario. If feasible, set aside a separate space where the ill person can rest and recover and be sure to disinfect things they usually come in contact with. Additionally, keep in mind to wash your hands both before and after each encounter to lessen the likelihood of spreading the germs. Avoid utilizing taxis, ride sharing, public transportation, and going out to work or spending time in public places. If you don't feel well and are unsure if you should visit a doctor, make sure to call one as soon as you can and describe your symptoms to them before you go anywhere else. A small bonus for you a little birdie told me that you have a curious little brain that feels happy whenever it gets new information about how, what, why, and when. If that's true, Then make sure you check out our channel, as it has various detailed videos on topics you might be curious about. Number two, maintain proper personal hygiene. The key to being well is limiting your exposure to sickness and avoiding germs. In addition, you should maintain proper hygiene, which can be done by taking a shower daily to wash off dirt and germs. Keeping your hands clean before touching your eyes, nose, mouth, or before consuming your meals. Washing and thoroughly scrubbing your hands for at least 20 seconds. Covering your mouth and nose with a tissue or with your hands before you cough or sneeze. Cleaning and disinfecting communal surfaces at regular intervals. Number three, cover up your cough or sneeze. When you cough or sneeze, your body's viruses may be expelled into the atmosphere. If you are sick, use a tissue to cover your mouth and then dispose it off in a trash can. If a tissue is not available, cough into your hands or elbow and then immediately wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water or clean your hands with alcohol based hand sanitizer to make sure none of the germs expelled are spread on other areas. Number four, avoid touching your face. Humans are unable to keep their hands by their side. We tend to touch our faces approximately three to five times under a minute. If you wipe your eye or touch your nose while carrying germs on your hands, you run the risk of exposing your sinuses, lungs, and throat to those bacteria. By avoiding touching your face with your hands, you can prevent pathogens from entering your body. It might need some effort and awareness, but it will be worthwhile. Number five, consume a healthy, balanced diet. Vitamin rich green leafy vegetables support a healthy immune system and assist you retain a balanced diet. When leafy greens vegetables are consumed, a chemical signal is sent to the body that increases a number of certain cell surface proteins required for effective immune system operation. Your immune system is strengthened by the abundant beta carotene and vitamin A found in green vegetables. Do you often struggle to remember to include fruits and veggies in your regular meals? You should try to get a variety of vitamins, including vitamin C, and try to include different hues and colors whenever you are cooking. Vitamin C strengthens the immune system and protects against colds and flus, especially in stressed out people. Food to avoid 
added sugar, extra salt, foods high in omega-6 fats, fried foods, processed and charred meats, highly refined carbs, artificially sweetened foods, and beverages are all really unhealthy elements that everyone in general should avoid. It's preferable to have a balanced diet that is high in whole, nutrient-dense foods, and low in ultra-processed meals in order to strengthen your immune system. Number 6. Vitamin D and Sun Exposure According to reports, the majority of adults don't get the recommended amount of vitamin D and proper sun exposure each day. Vitamin D deficiency can cause symptoms including poor bone development, cardiovascular issues, and a weakened immune system. It controls the synthesis of a protein that kills bacteria and viruses, as well as the other infectious pathogens. Additionally, vitamin D affects the quantity and function of T2 killer lymphocytes, a kind of white blood cell that may stop the spread of germs and viruses. Several foods such as egg yolks, mushrooms, salmon, canned tuna, and beef liver are excellent sources of vitamin D. Besides that, make sure to bask in sun for a small amount of time every day. Number 7. Move around and exercise often. Following a regular workout schedule is nothing less than a blessing for anyone who wants to stay fit and avoid getting sick. Regular exercise such as brisk walking, jogging, swimming, and other aerobic activities not only strengthens your heart, but also strengthens your immune system. It helps you stay healthy, slim, and prevents inflammation and chronic illness. It also lowers stress and hastens the movement of white blood cells that help the body fight infection and the common cold. Additionally, exercise raises endorphin levels, improves mood, significantly enhances general motor coordination, and enhances immune system activities. Number 8. Get enough sleep. It's crucial to get enough sleep when you've been subjected to a cold or flu. Adults are encouraged to get 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night and to practice excellent sleeping patterns in order to keep their health at its best. You may improve the quality of your sleep by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, keeping your bedroom tidy and quiet, avoiding coffee in the evening, and isolating the area where you work from where you sleep. Healthy adult individuals who slept for at least 8 hours per night had a higher viral resistance. Less than 7 hours of sleep every night increased the risk of contracting the virus. One explanation might be that the body generates cytokines when you sleep for a long time. They regulate the immune system, which aids the body in fighting illness. As some of you may already know, sleep is a powerful tool, built not only to refresh ourselves and wake up rejuvenated every morning, but also to detoxify our system. But you might not know that it is also a tool that can help you awaken your superpowers. Want to know how? Then be sure to check out our video titled, Unlock Your Superpowers with Better Sleep. Number 9. Keep unhealthy habits like drinking alcohol and smoking at bay. Alcohol use has the potential to harm the body's dendritic cells, which are essential to the immune system. Over time, increasing one's alcohol intake might raise their risk of contracting bacterial and viral diseases. Although drinking alcohol is frequently linked to liver damage, both moderate and long-term alcohol usage can have a major influence on the immune system, decreasing the body's capacity to appropriately defend itself against infection and illness. Smoking not only increases the likelihood of developing autoimmune illness, but also makes people who already have it worse. Body edema, muscular aches, skin redness, slight fever, tingling in the hands and feet, hair loss, and rashes are a few symptoms that might appear. Vaccines are also said to be less effective for people with alcohol and tobacco addiction. Number 10. Meditation. According to recent studies, practicing mindfulness and meditation can increase immune system function, lower blood pressure, and cognitive function, among other aspects of health and performance. In essence, your body responds by calming down when you practice mindful meditation, 
which involves paying attention to the present moment without any judgments. This gives your immune system the tools it needs to protect your body from foreign elements. The benefits that people experience when they put time and effort into the practice of quieting the mind have been attributed to major aspects of mindfulness, which are regulation of emotions, awareness, and attention. Together, these enable the mind and body to communicate in a way that leads to both spiritual and physical rejuvenation while assisting people in managing the impacts of stress. While recent study has highlighted these particular areas of immunity boosting, the truth is that meditation and mindfulness have been practiced for ages for this particular reason. There is solid proof that meditation encourages both physical and mental well-being and strengthens your fight against all types of sickness. Number 11. Keep yourself hydrated. The final and most crucial requirement is to maintain proper hydration. Flushing out dangerous toxins from your immune system will benefit you if you consistently drink water and keep yourself hydrated. Water keeps your eyes and lips moist, oxygenates your blood, aids in improved digestion, and kills bacteria that might lead to diseases. We all wish to live a healthy and long life, but there are certain rules that one has to follow in order to achieve what they wish for. Drinking the right amount of water to keep yourself hydrated, meditating, keeping unhealthy habit and addiction at bay, getting the required hours of sleep, exercising regularly, consuming balanced diet with proper amount of vitamins and minerals, maintaining personal hygiene, and keeping distance when sick are all very basic but prominent factors that will help you lead a healthy life. With this, we come to the end of the video. If you found this video insightful, then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel before you leave so that we can fill you up on various other such informational videos and keep you and your inquisitive brain updated. Also, drop down the topics that you guys are interested in, and we will try to make detailed videos on them. Till then, take care, and we'll see you guys in our next video.